What's poppin' Calisthenics fam? So I'm here at the beach, Santa Monica, California, and you know, I, I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me to help you not only accomplish 10 pull-ups in a row, but fix the other problems of just increasing your pull-ups in general. So we're gonna get started. I am here again, as I said, on the beach in Santa Monica, California, and I have the pull-up bar right here. So I wanna just go through certain things that you're not doing correctly and how you can really change them and make and fix this issue that you're having. So first of all, more is not better. Just because you go to a pull-up bar and you're just doing a ton of reps and, and sets and you're doing all these muscle-ups and you're, you're trying to just go through as many different exercises and reps as possible does not mean you are actually progressing. You need structure to it. You need to understand that for building the size of your muscles, hypertrophy is six to 13 repetitions. And if you wanna build the muscular endurance, then you're gonna to have to be doing 13 to 20 repetitions. And there's different rep ranges, rest periods, and all of that. So first of all, I wanna make sure you have the proper rest periods in place to get better and get stronger so you can do more pull-ups. So you're gonna be focusing on anywhere from 45 seconds to one minute. And if you are someone that can only do like three pull-ups, what I want you to do is increase variation by using different types of things on let's say a dip bar, inverted rows you could be doing, single arm inverted rows, really focusing on those lats because remember, your lats are what really make you or give you the opportunity to pull you up in that pull-up position. Next. Soreness does not always mean you're progressing. And I know you might think that, you know, I, I have to just do as much as possible. This, this goes back to the, the principle of doing too much. And, you know, just because you feel sore does not mean you're doing anything properly and progressing correctly. It just means that your body is under stress and it is not used to that stressor and it's trying to recover and repair itself. So don't attribute soreness to your progressions. Next. You're doing the same exercises over and over again and I'll show you right here. Every single time you're doing an exercise, you're thinking, okay, I need to get stronger pull-ups, so let me just do pull-ups. And I'm, I know you wanna try and say that for yourself and think that, it, that this is the way, but this is actually not the way to get stronger. You need to be increasing your variation. And when you increase your variation, it will all translate to a stronger position on that pull-up bar. And what else do you need to be focusing on? You need to strengthen your forearms. Very, very important. Your grip is everything. Thumb under the bar. Remember, strongest digit on your hand. So as I said, those inverted rows, you can be doing jump pull-ups or jump muscle-ups or the half muscle-ups that you've seen in previous videos on my channel, okay? So stop doing the same exercise over and over again. You get used to it. It's called the gas theory. It's where you start just, once you, once you are alarmed by an exercise, your body's under stress, that's the first step. The second step is where you start getting used to the specific movement and this is where you really build size, build strength then you get completely exhausted from the exercise and you're no longer building any, any strength. You're plateauing, you're kind of just falling off. That's where you need to switch it up. So in your case, you gotta switch up the pull-ups. Try and go to different hand placements, go to different variations. This will help you and increase your pull-ups in the end. And that's where it leads me now, hand placement. Your hand placement's wrong. Every single time you have your thumb over the bar, you're wasting the amount of strength that you could be using, thumb over the bar. So what you wanna do, have those thumbs under the bar, over pronate a little bit more here, so that you're really, really using every muscle in your body. Also, don't be going in a supinated grip. This is a chin up. You're gonna be working more of your biceps than anything else. So make sure your hands are overhand grip and about shoulder width apart. You can do a little bit wider to help with increasing variation, remember, widening out your grip, bringing it closer will help you and get those 10 pull-ups that you want. And finally, you're not doing enough high intensity volume. And the reason why I'm saying high intensity volume is because you could be doing a bunch of repetitions, a bunch of the same exercises over and over again, but it's not high enough 
intensity. And the way you gotta increase the intensity is the variation of your exercise. So that is where you're on the dip bar and you're doing those inverted rows. Instead of just an inverted row with both hands, now you're gonna take one hand and increase that variation, increasing that intensity. And volume, remember, is reps times sets. So how many repetitions are you actually completing in your workouts? Generally, for each exercise, if I'm gonna be doing only back and biceps for a full workout, I'm gonna be doing four to five different exercises. Sometimes, actually five exercises is a good, good, and you're gonna be focusing on three to four sets for each specific exercise, okay? So increase that intensity by the variation that you're doing. You know, even here, if you can only do three or four pull-ups, you can go on a lower pull-up bar and do clapping with your feet on the ground, clapping jump, pull-ups and focus more on the pull-up in general or those half muscle-ups that I, that I taught you guys on the dip bars, very, very important. So take all this information, use it to your advantage and get your 10 pull-ups in a row. It's an easy fix, it's not complicated. I have the answers, they're in this video. Write them down, take notes, bring everything to the park and start getting to it right now. The excuse you can make is that, ah, I don't have the time. The excuse you can make is that, ah, I gotta go, uh, I, I have school work or I have to work all the time or I, I just don't really have a park near me. You can make as many excuses as you want to say why you can't do 10 pull-ups in a row or why you can't do 10 muscle-ups in a row. The fact of the matter is we can all get stronger, we can all increase power, we can all get bigger, and we can all eat better and feel better long-term. So keep on grinding, believe in what I just taught you, believe in all these videos that I do provide, and that's all I got to share for you today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Remember, smash that like button, smash that like button. Sma <laughs> you know smash it just 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 you know hit the like button <laughs> i got josh josh behind the camera laughing and he's freezing right now um yeah so anyways thanks for tuning in subscribe if you haven't already comment down below if you enjoyed this type of video and i'll see you next time peace